Let's <laughs> go for him. Mm. Mm. There's a cap. <laughs> Two. And uh, all the bees are attached. Oh. And the That's a serious correct. <laughs> so you are, you are, you open the lid and clean it. I think you know them. I know this is not open zone. The tattoo is big. No. No. Uh, is it big? Uh, because but I can open this one and check it too. Yes. Uh -huh. Sister, I shall see it's named down a little. Did you? Yes. Oh, you uh -huh. didn't notice it. No. You didn't notice it. The moment <laughs> I saw him, I noticed. Mm. So, when they are doing an Igbo tradition, you wear your own. Yes. Igbo, you know, it's Igbo. Even the cap, I was asking them for the, the size. Try it, try it, let's see. Try the cap, let's see. You are never going to the same size. Uh, mm. so, uh, okay. Mm. Okay. Mm. <laughs> mm. Okay. Mm. Okay. 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 We just got back from church. The sun, eh? The sun can fry <laughs> chicken. <laughs> the sun is so much. Like, I think the weather is changing now. I think the weather is actually getting a little bit darker now. But the weather was so hot because we went to church. From church, we went to eat. From eating, we are back home. My parents are here. Okay, you guys already know now by this point. My parents are here and we've been having fun, right? So, anyway, I just came from downstairs. That's why I'm breathing like this. <laughs> While I was in church today, something just occurred to me, right? I was going through pain, a little bit of pain, because today is my, I'm on my period, and today is day two, so it's quite heavy, you know, my, my waist was paining me at some point, my tummy was paining me at some point, while we were praying, but I was just, you know, participating and praying as normal, right? But there are times I had to just stop, or if I'm singing too loud, I had to reduce my voice more, just to, you know, cope with the pain more before I continue. Anyway, that was how... You know, I just turned to the side and saw my husband just praying and worshipping and just, you know, having fun, just concentrating and having fun, right? And I was just like, see, eh, we normalize some things, but we don't know how, like, we don't, like, okay, for those of us who have monthly periods, especially for those who go through pain during our periods, monthly pain, monthly periods, um, then other things that come before and after the periods, right? Like, eh, what they call, I say PTSD. <laughs> No PTSD, PPD, or no, no, premenstrual PMS. Eh? So PMS, you know, some people have ovulation pain, you no know, pain here and there. Even if you don't have pain, the messiness of period. I saw somebody saying that period is not messy, and I'm like, period is messy. Let's just normalize it, but it's messy, okay? So the messiness of period, because at some point, when I was standing, I was just hoping that, oh, hope I'm not stained. Hope, you know, when I sit down, it's not rush out. Hope if I sing too loud, it's not rush out, you know, because they're too usually heavy for me. So, you know, I was thinking of all these things while still worshipping and, you know, just participating in church like a normal human being, right? So while all this was going on, I just looked to my left and I saw my husband 
praying and you know worshiping God, singing with all his energy, just raising up his hands and just having fun in church, right? Meanwhile, me, I was thinking about my life. <laughs> Not thinking about my life per se, but you know, I was going through it, still trying to also pray. And it just occurred to me that seeing women, like, I don't know how I'm going to explain to you people that you people need to know that I understand that you are men, you are not equal, right? You are not equal. So I'm not saying you are less than a man, okay? And I'm not saying a man is less than you, but you are not equal. You are you are different. Men and women are different, okay? The things that are normal to us and not even men cannot even comprehend it when i was not thinking about it i was like wait too. so since i was 13 or something or even 12 or something i can't even remember when i had my first period but so since then till now i've been dealing with monthly pain well i've had breaks okay pregnancy break it's not like pregnancy is really a break because you're going through something at that point right but i've had breaks here and there i've had times when you know i've elevated the pain by taking certain things like even now i don't really have serious pains again because i now take evening primrose oil constantly you know i take paracetamol if i start before the pain even starts i take paracetamol okay but on average i don't feel that much pain again but i still feel inconvenience okay and you know period is messy no matter how anybody wants to describe it eh, period is messy just get used to it let's just accept that it is a messy process but we're trying to manage it, right? So there's so many things that we go through and we have been going through for years and it is normal, normal in quotes to us, but men don't have anything like that. Like, you know what it means to be living with pain or living through pain, like at least five days of the month, every month, for, since you were how old? Come on, come on. <laughs> so anyway, when I was just looking at him, I was just like, not like I was beefing him, Sha, but I was just like, this man will never understand. Like, you won't get, no matter how I want to explain it to you, you won't get the fact that why you're here just carefree and just worshipping God. Me, I'm worshipping God, though. It's not like I'm not worshipping. I'm worshipping God. But I'm thinking, okay, my period, this one. Hope my part is staying well. Hope when I sit down and I stand up, I won't be stained. Hope that, that's why I even wore this outfit, first of all. And mind you, it's not like I even get stained easily. Because, well, I've, when I was younger, I used to get stained a lot because I was always... You know dealing with heavy flow but now that i have gone through it for years i now know what to do not to get stained right so even with even on top of that even upon still even though i know that i will not get stained i still have it at the back of my head that i can get stained because of how heavy my periods is or my periods are because of how heavy they are i still have it somewhere in my head that you can get stained though so i can't just stand up and just continue to the worker like the rest of the, of everybody like let's say now pastor just says um you know, go and conquer your world or whatever, and everybody stands up and start going. I cannot just stand up and start going. I'll stand up, look at the chair, <laughs> not look back. Not, now, you know, just somehow touch my back. I might just do my back like this. I just somehow, it's now, it's now in my subconscious. It's not like I'm even doing it consciously because, of course, I know that I'm not staying, but it is now a thing for me to just stand up and look at the chair first before I start, you know, what kind they go, right? So, it is what it is, okay? And for those of you that used to go out without wearing pants and still wear short skirts, just know that you are on target. I don't know why this, this just came to my head, but I see some people wear very, very short dresses and they say they don't wear pants, okay? No wahala. And you're going to different places and you're sitting down on their chairs, right? Where different people have sat down. You don't even know what somebody did before has deposited there before. You now go and pick it up. Well done, well done. But anyway, um, yeah, that was just why I wanted to talk to you guys about that. The fact that men and women... We're not equal at all, at all, at all. Like, it's from where to where. No, 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 no. Even if you are not someone that goes through menstrual pain, even if you don't have menstrual pain or you don't have heavy period, the fact that three days, five days in a month, you have to find something nicky. You have to put something there every. This it is. It's already. It's already made you different. Any other thing can can come. Any any, any other thing can be the same. But you see that part. It, it's, it's already different. Okay. I mean, look at men. Men panties panties in quotes or men boxers in quotes very free and you know just letting everything loose meanwhile women own you have catapult you have band you have seamless the similar but everything is just tapas everything is tight because they're trying to keep things in you know so we're not the same in case you do not know i know all of us know but just just want to remind you that we're not the same so i even saw a post yesterday that um uh, what is his name put out say hey, what's this guy's name solomon bucci mr controversial he put out a post about how women should not have nine to five because of what they have to deal with on a monthly basis this and that this and that and many women were coming for him many people were coming for him blah 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 blah, blah. 
Now, I don't really care about the body of uh, or the rest of everything he was saying in his post, but the part that I wholeheartedly agree with is that women should not be doing 9 to 5. At least we shouldn't be doing it the way men are doing it. We should have some exceptions. We should have some freedoms, okay? I feel like if you have a regular 9 to 5 job, during your period, you should be allowed to work from home or... I don't know. There must be something. There must be something. Okay, him. I, I don't, I'm not trying to say I support what he said. I don't really. I don't really want to go into what he said. But the part about you know women should not have nine to five because of their monthly periods. I agree with that part to an extent. Okay, now the extent is that women should do whatever they want to do. That is what feminism is all about. Okay, women should be allowed to do whatever the hell they want to do. If they want to do nine to five, nine to uh, uh, nine. Uh, uh, <laughs> 12 a.m. to 12 midnight. It is on them. It is their business, right? So women should be allowed to do whatever they want to do. However, concessions should be made for women in certain things, okay? So if you're a pregnant woman, your 9 to 5 should be structured a different way. If you are a nursing mother, at least most 9 to 5s try in that aspect. A nursing mother closes earlier than, comes late to work and closes, is allowed to come late and close earlier than other staff, right? And then if you are now a... Um, a regular woman just on your periods they should have you should have some kind of concession either you work from home or you should not be allowed to work the regular hours or something sir. something should be done so constitution should be made for women because i remember then when i had a nine to five when i was my period like this i used to be miserable i i like i used to be miserable I used to be miserable. That one is not even an argument. I used to be miserable. Coupled with the fact that then I was trying to have kids. Okay, so when you're not trying to get pregnant, you'll not see your period, but you have to go to work and you have to put on a smiley face because you're a marketer. I beg, I beg, I beg. I hated it there. <laughs> those, those days used to be my worst days in, 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 at my job. But anyway, that's it though. I'm about to sleep my Sunday afternoon sleep. I want to drink plenty of cold water because weather is quite, quite hot. Nepal does not give us light. I don't know what their problem is. They're not giving us light today. Although we slept with light shower, but it's okay this morning. But anyway, I'm about to drink very cold water. I'm about to lie down, about to cover myself. I'm about to sleep. Kind of sleep that when I wake up, I'll be asking myself, are we in January? Is this 5 p.m.? <laughs> Is this 1 a.m.? I want that kind of sleep. When I wake up, you'll have mark all over your face. In fact, a little bit of drooling self is allowed. But anyway, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching, and I'll see you all in my next one. Bye, guys.